It is great to be joined here by Adam Ellis, of course, rider for the Paul Pirates 2020. He's all the way in France. We're still over in England, but that's the way the internet works. Adam, thanks ever so much for your time tonight. How are you getting on over there? Pretty good. Um, got back. Uh, I was in the UK for, for quite some time from beginning of March and um, obviously watched it all unfold. Uh, but now I decided to come back to France Wednesday night, so been back two days and yeah, it's it's pretty chilled. We've at least got got somewhere to where we can go sit outside and make the most of the sunshine. Yeah, well, we spoke to Danny King and we were asking him about the frustrations of uh, not being out of race. But from your point of view, as far as trying to stay safe and keep fit as well, ready for the season, we've got a question here from Twitter from Peter Cross, and he asks, "What are you doing to keep fit?" so that you can be ready once the season starts? Um, same as most of the winter, really. It's um, obviously from, from January onwards, we, we, most guys, including myself, try and keep up a, a regular training routine through you know, five days a week, pretty much. So it's, um, it kind of hasn't really changed. It was difficult doing that in, in England because I was renting a flat, so pretty pretty st- like stuck indoors doing it from your living room and stuff but there's there's always workouts you can do and um since i got back to france the weather's been really good it's like 20 degrees during the day and really sunny so i've kind of got like a, a spinning bike and and some some weights and stuff like that so i've taken it all outside <laughs> on the outside in the garden and um just just doing that just doing that to try and try and keep fit doing a little bit of running a little bit of cycling and uh some some you know weight stuff okay jason ballard on facebook he asked what made you come back to ride for the pirates now am i right in saying that it was 2016 you last rode for them yeah 2016 um I, yeah uh what made me come back is you know it's it's always been um the pool has always been seen as like the uh the, I'd say that like the Barcelona of of speedway in the UK, so they've always been a a pretty big club. So you know it's 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 always an honour to ride for ride for Paul. And I had a really good year in 2016, uh, and then you know kind of didn't I wanted to go back for 2017, but it didn't happen. So I was pretty disappointed. But um, yeah, when I spoke to Matt in I think it was October or November time at first I said no because I wasn't planning on doing championship and then you know it kind of works logistically for me it's it I used to live in Ringwood so it's like 20 minutes half an hour down the road so you know it kind of makes things a lot easier when you're riding half an hour away from home and um yeah it kind of kind of went like that and ended up moving moving up to Swindon or was going to plan on being based in Swindon so it's still not too far, but you know it's it's been a great club to be involved with in in 2016. Matt Matt always looks after you and you know tries to do whatever he can to 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 keep you happy. So um, yeah, it wasn't really a hard decision to come back. Okay, Dylan Finn he asked, "Are you going to be challenging for the number one jacket this season?" Now we've spoken to Danny King about this. He is not ready to relinquish that jacket. What's your aims for it? Are you after that? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Um, I saw I saw Danny's video and he was pretty adamant he wasn't giving it up. But if uh, <laughs> if I've got anything to do with it, then it'll be going down the pecking order. <laughs> it's, um, we had a laugh and a joke about it uh, in France at, at Matt's Chateau. And, um, you know, I think there's, there's three guys in the team, me, Danny and Stevie, who were all number ones last year. And we've we've all got you know, the ability to be a number one. So I don't really know how Matt has managed to fit all three of us in the team. And, um, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be tough to, to get it because I know Danny's fired up. He's, he's feeling really good after his crash a few years ago where he had some problems with his arm and Stevie's, you know, he's always super fit and, uh, he's more than determined to, to get back to where he was a few years ago when he was involved with World Cup with Team GB, so um, it's not going to be not going to be easy. But uh, the my goal is to keep progressing every year. So so obviously that's um, staying at number one where I was last year. 
Now you mentioned Danny and Stevie, of course, the other members of the team, apart from Stefan Nielsen over here, but the other three Aussies. Are they guys you know well? Have you ridden against them? You know their sort of progress and what they're going to bring to the team? Mm, I, don't, I don't know much, to be honest. Um, obviously, no, no Steph from for for a little while. We we did some under twenty one stuff together, and um, Ben and Zane, they they seem really really keen. You know, we first time I met them was in was in France, and they were. Um, pretty fired up to get going which is good and to be fair most of the Aussies that come over they're, they're, they're hungry to succeed it's it's a massive commitment coming over to the UK from Australia and um, they're, they're not going to just you know give up as soon as, as soon as something doesn't go their way so um, it's it's a good sign I think that you've got a couple of couple of guys that are keen on on coming over and doing well and obviously Josh Josh, uh, I, I didn't really see him much last year or anything, but I know he's he's not too shabby either. He can be pretty quick, and um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a good year. I think we're we're looking forward to to getting going, and um, we got a good team spirit. We we all had a laugh in in France, and um, we get on really well. So uh, yeah, Danny Chilcott on Facebook he asked, "What is your best racing moment which you have achieved?" Uh, probably Swindon last year. It was um, definitely a, a memorable year. You know, the, the moment Rasmus and and Klaus come in, it kind of turned our season around, and it never really we never had a bad meeting from that point onwards. So um, they played a, a big part in in making it, you know, pretty pretty special. And obviously going on to having massive meet wins at home as well as. Uh, as well as you know, dominating the the playoff playoff final home and away was um, was special. We had a really good team spirit. Everyone got on really well, which is uh, probably fifty percent of of good results on track. So um, I'd say that's that's the best best mom- moments of of my career so far. A question here from someone that you will know, Scott Mitchell. A good friend of Paul Speedway here, he says, do you play darts? And if you do, have you ever played anyone decent? He says he's so pleased that you're at Paul this season if we ever get started. So uh, what's your reply to Scott there? Um, I do play a little bit of darts. Funny enough, there's there's a fat bloke from Ringwood who, who gave me a dart ball to put up in my workshop. Um, yeah, so I've, I've had a bit of practice and I think mean, I've played Scott once. I think, uh, yeah, played him once, which was... Um, Good fun, but no, it's something I'd like to get into more. You you watch it. I went and watched him once at Lakeside, and um, the atmosphere is awesome. It's it's really good fun, and um, yeah, it's something that is looks so simple, but is is pretty difficult. So um, I'm going to have to get a bit better before I play him again. There could well be something there with a ref night. Maybe on an off night at Speedway, we can get a dartboard put up in the stadium grandstand or something, and we can get you in there in a bit of a competition. Okay, moving on to Facebook then. Kevin Christopher, he says, are you a gamer? If so, Xbox, PS4 or Nintendo Switch? Um, I do play a bit of Xbox. I'll be honest, I've been playing it quite a bit recently. It's, uh, yeah, you kind of kind of get a bit bored of um, of not doing anything. So, um, yeah, been playing a bit of Xbox and uh, anything from FIFA to Call of Duty to the um, motocross games, you know, anything to, to bide the time. Here's a question from someone that you will know, John Ellis. He's your father. He says, uh, when are you coming home, son? The grass needs cutting. So I guess now you are home. Have you cut his grass for him? <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back home now, which is, which is a re- like, you know, kind of a relief. Getting a bit sick of uh, being stuck up in Swindon during lockdown. So I'm at my mum's at the moment, which, um, yeah, we've I've cut her grass. I did that. First thing I had to do was cut the grass. She's been away for a while, so home alone for a little bit. And um, yeah, he's he's two hours away now, so I won't be won't be driving two hours to cut the grass. That's for sure. Rob Dyer here on Twitter. I think he's sent this one in to stitch me up rather than yourself. He says, "Prayer of you, le escarots uli Yorkshire pudding." Do you prefer snails or Yorkshire pudding? Definitely Yorkshire puddings. Um, it's uh, yeah. Not a no big fan of snails. I've never even tasted them, but not really not really keen on trying. Okay, well, hopefully your riding's going to be a lot better than my French, that's for sure. Adam, just do me a favour before we go. Can you look into the camera? Send a personal message out to those Pirates fans that are waiting eagerly for this season to start. 
Yep. Yeah, um, obviously, we're we're really looking forward to the season, especially after the delay to the start. Hopefully, we can we can get started soon. It's um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a nightmare at the moment, but everyone's really keen to get going. We we all met up in France uh, a month or so ago, and I think we've got an exciting team with experience as well as um, guys that want to prove themselves. So I think it's going to be going to be a good season at Paul. It's going to be something different to what they've had for, for a long time. And um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. So everyone take care, stay indoors and hopefully we'll see you soon. Adam, good luck with the rest of your training and stay safe and stay well. More importantly, we look forward to seeing you back on track just as soon as we can all get going again. Thank you.